What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Bob from Roblox Doors. Let's begin today's lesson at the very top of our page and draw two ovals for the eyes. Now we just wanna angle this in towards the top. So let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the top of the eye, come all the way around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. And leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same sized oval flipped over on the right. So let's start with the top, come down towards the bottom, and then back up. I'm going to switch to a thick black marker and fill the inside of each eye. Now I'm going to move in between the eyes and draw the nose. Let's start with a point. Then bend this out and down toward the left, the right side. And we'll close off the bottom with a curve, and then we'll fill the inside of the nose in black. Now I'm going to move up to the top and draw the hat brim, starting over on the left. Let's bend this up above the eyes, and then bring that back down on the right. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to draw the top of the brim, going up, rounding this out, and then coming back down. Now from the end of the hat brim, draw a short angle line coming down towards the side of the head. Now let's connect the ends of the curve going up towards the top of the hat. So going to round this out, come across, and then bring that down on the right. Let's tuck the cheeks in underneath the hat. From the bottom corners, we're going to step in Gonna round this out and then bend that in. Now we're also gonna add a fold along the bottom of the eyes, coming down and then in. Now from the inside of the cheeks, we're gonna bend this in and then down towards the mouth. And close off the bottom with a curve, going up and then down. Now from here we're going to tuck the jaw in underneath the head. Let's start underneath the cheek on the left, bend this in, and then down towards the chin. I'm just going to round out the chin, coming down, and then pull that up towards the right. Let's go up along the right side, and we'll follow this same curve, coming down, and then up towards the left. Draw a straight line going up underneath the mouth. Now we can draw the back side of the jaw. From the corner of the mouth, step in, angle this down, step in, draw that again, and then we'll fill the inside of the mouth in black. Now we're gonna move down and draw the inside edge of the rib cage. We need a gap underneath the chin, let's start over on the left. We're gonna bend this around and then in. Let's go over towards the right and do the same thing. And then from the top, we bend this out and then up around the chin. Let's go down to the bottom, bend this down and out. And let's close off the side with a curve. Now I'm gonna separate the rib cage with a series of lines. Let's start halfway down the left side Add one curve coming down and up. Line that up on the right. And I'm going to separate the top in half with another curve. And we'll also separate the bottom. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and bend the spine over towards the left. I'll start up here, bend this across, and then down towards the hip. Let's round out the bottom. I'm going to follow the same curve going up underneath the rib and continue along the top. Let's separate the spine with a series of curves. Start from the top, coming down and up, and we'll just repeat this all the way down towards the bottom. Let's draw on the hip bone. From the bottom of the spine, we'll step up, then this around, and then in. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now from the inside, I'm just going to bend this in 
and then down towards the bottom. Let's go back up to the top. We're gonna go all the way around the outside and just bend that back in. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw the arms hanging down the side. We start from the top corner of the rib cage, go all the way around, and then bend that down. And this will be for the top of the bone. Now from here we step up, curve around, and then bend that in. From the outside, angle is down and then out towards the elbow. And we draw another curve, going all the way around and then up in the middle. Draw another curve, going down and then out. And I'll draw a straight angle line going up and then in behind the side of the rib cage. Let's add in the forearms. In the center, we step down, curve up toward the top, bend that in, go back to the center, go in the opposite direction, and then in. And then from the inside, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the wrist. Let's go to the outside, draw another straight line coming down towards the same height. And we'll close off the bottom of the bone. All the way around and then up in the middle. Go on the right side. And now we're going to draw on the hands. Let's start from the inside. Start with the thumb. Coming in and then out. Close off the end with a curve going up. From the bottom of the thumb, curve the first finger. Coming down and then up. Step down. Draw the second finger. And then the third finger. We're going to come down, up, and then in underneath the wrist. Let's separate the top of each finger with a curve. Now you want to tuck the legs in underneath the body. Let's start underneath the hip bone. Draw two straight angle lines coming down and in towards the knees. Let's add the bone. Coming in and then up toward the outside. Let's add another curve. Coming down, up, and then in. Now on the right side, my angle is up and out towards the hip, right at the top, and just tuck that in towards the side. Go up on the right. Now let's draw the inside. Now go to the inside, coming around and out. Draw a straight angle line coming down and out towards the ankles. Round up the bottom of the bone, coming down and up. Set another curve, going out, around, and then in. Now I'm just going to pull this up and in underneath the top of the leg. Let's go to the outside of the ankle, curve the heel, going out and then down on the other side. Now I'm going to round up the foot, coming down and then in. Now you want to stack the toes along the inside. Start from the end of the foot, we're going to go up and then down. And then there are two more toes along either side. Come in, go up and just tuck that in towards the side. And we'll do that one more time. Come in, go up and then down. Now let's close off the top of the foot, start on top of the last toe, go up and then out. And then we'll finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Bob from Roblox Doors. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.